double S two four one starts tonight. Pulling over to do a COVID test. Takes about 20-ish minutes to drive down to the convention center and I'd like this done before I get there. All right, well, that's gonna run. I'm gonna set it down carefully in my passenger seat and then I'm going to continue driving safely. Okay, we're vlogging. Now, the only potential hiccup here is that I haven't checked in. So if registration is open, I'll get my badge. I appreciate the carrots, but I'm not sure that event, um, especially when we're all having to wear masks and shove into a room tight together, I'm not sure that event is entirely necessary. There we go. <laughs> the problem with the undergrad fair is this year, and always has been, that it's just chaos, right? Like, even if you get a really big room, it's just chaos. You've got all these students who are trying to go see tables, and it's unclear in an hour or hour and a half, like what you're really gonna accomplish. One of the things that I have really taken away from the pandemic is that we should be really critical about why we're doing the things we're doing. Some of the things we do are just purely social. The next event, the opening reception, that's basically just social. There, I don't think there's even like really remarks given by the president or anything, that's, that's tomorrow morning. So we have an opportunity to reset here. We have an opportunity to revisit why do we do each of these things. Let nothing be the way it was just because that's the way it was. The carrots are good. I don't think it was worth my time to come down here to get my name tag. I don't want to come here and mess around with that in the morning. In the morning, I still have to get up, feed my kids, take them to school. So I'm not going to be here first thing in the morning, bright and early. Tomorrow, I'm going to bring a bottle of water. So previously at the Seattle AAS, the opening reception was across the street at a hotel. This year, they're doing the undergrad fair, which we just saw, and the opening reception here in the conference center. And I think that's great. We'll do a full tour of the exhibit hall tomorrow. It's not in full swing today, although, it's actually pretty hopping, which is amazing. I like doing the opening reception here. I think this is a win. We should keep this. Uh, it's 7 o'clock at night, and I'm drinking coffee because I can't walk by coffee. Right, let's keep looking around. Okay, I'm getting my first look at the uh, eye poster setup. A major change to this meeting this year is all eye posters. No physical, no poster tubes, no printouts, which I was a little nervous about, to be honest. Just, let's say I'm cautiously optimistic. What up? Ah, back in the vlog. Back in the vlog. It's, it's been a little bit of a hiatus, man. It has, it really has. Yeah, but almost every year. Almost, almost every year. Yeah. I saw your headshot from a year ago. Okay. You still got the mustache. Oh no, not at all. You, can, you, can you give us a peek? Man, it's so disappointing. It's okay, I had the mustache for one week. One week. And that's when they took the headshot, so. I'm devastated. Oh. Hello. Hey, how many talks are you giving this week? One. Only one? Only one, and it's oh. going to be at night, and the audience will probably have beer. I'm not sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing. Cheers. Then, cheers. <laughs> Hello, welcome to TAS. We are the Transitive Exoplanet Survey uh, Satellite. I don't usually go for the posters. I mean, usually they get smashed in my suitcase, but because I only have to get it back to my car in a half hour, and then it'll be safe, and also flares of fury. Hey, you Mick. Beautiful. Free food, a little bit of coffee, a whole bunch of conversations. I'm really out of practice with this and with this. So we're going to be practicing all the social, social skills this week. See you tomorrow. Yeah.